My name is Bill Wingle. In this section, I'm going to continue talking about the Garmin eTrex 20X and 30X. In this section, I'll be talking about how to use this in a competitive fashion where you're at a race or some kind of event where you need to keep track of how much time you've been on trail and how far you have gone. It's a, I do assume that at this point you have set up your trip odometer page. In this case, I'm starting on the uh, uh, starting on the main menu page and I have this set up so I can hit the back button and I can toggle to my trip odometer page. The trip odometer page you can see that I already have some mileage and time on this and before I start the race I need to set these to zero. To do this I'm going to press press the menu button over here on the left side and you can see that I'll get a pop-up menu. The top pop-up menu item says reset and the idea here is, is we're going to reset everything back to zero. Once you're happy with your menu selection, um, once you're happy with your menu selection we will say uh, we will select reset and then we're going to have several options listed here. This is a little bit older model and so uh, a little bit older model and on the newer models there's one additional option but in, on this option I have the choice of uh, resetting trip data, deleting all the waypoints, clearing current track data, and resetting all my settings. Normally the, the way I use the GPS I'm just going to reset the trip data it will zero, zero my time and distance information however if I've been out on the trail uh, in previous days, all that information and breadcrumbs and things I've dropped and marked on the map is still going to be there. I do that because I use the data later for mapping, but it's uh, not necessary for most people. Um, I do not recommend usually deleting all the waypoints because you will delete all the waypoints on the GPS, not just the ones that might be relevant in the local area. You need to be a little bit careful about doing that. Clearing track data, I had discussed that briefly uh, before. If you've already been on this trail um, and you've been using the GPS, you very might likely may be showing where you have been previously and you may want to get rid of that information, particularly on multi-day events. On the newer GPSs, there'll be an additional fourth item which clears both the trip data and the track data in one action and it will say reset both. For most people, that's what you want to do is select that fourth item down. I would stay away from reset all settings. I That one makes me nervous. I don't know how much it really does reset, but it's probably more than you want. Uh, so for me, I'm just going to reset the trip data and, and so I reset the trip data and then I'm going to toggle up to this point here and say yes I want to reset all this information but this is where I'm going to stop. This is where I want to get the GPS set up so that when I get to the timer and I'm waiting for waiting for my, waiting for my turn to time out and go out onto trail I want this all set up and ready to go when I get to the timer. So when the timer says go all I have to do is hit the Talk, hit the hit yes uh, using the select button here. When I do that it's going to take me back up one page but if I hit the back button one more time you can see that I've only been out on trail for 12 seconds and my distance is uh, starting to tick up from uh, zero from zero. I'm not quite sure why this GPS is currently thinking I've gone 70 feet since I'm still sitting in a chair. Could be because I'm sitting inside and it's just a little bit confused at the moment. Um, a couple additional warn words of warning about this is when you use a GPS like this, the GPS when you it's uh, you want to make sure that you have turned it on well before the start of the start of the event. I usually like to make sure I turn it on at least five minutes before the start of an event. Usually, I do competitive horseback trail riding. Usually, when I tack up the horse, I will. Uh, turn it on when I put the GPS on the horse and that might be a half an hour before the start of the race. The reason I do that is it take when you turn a GPS on it takes a while for it to find itself and often the last time I used the GPS was in a different state 
and if you wait until you get up to the timer before you turn it on one you're in a rush but two you'll be real happy that oh good I got it I got it zero just as the timer said we we're going out and then you look at the GPS and you'll be two minutes two minutes down the trail and you look at it and the time will be right that you've been two minutes down the trail but it'll just say that you've gone 175 miles because the last time you turned the GPS on was at another event 175 miles from where you're currently at and then if you catch that early on it may not be a big deal but if you don't bother to look down your GPS for five miles you may, it's like, okay, how far out on the trail am I really? So make sure you turn the GPS on well before you start the event and um, make sure that you have the GPS ready to be zeroed when you get up to, uh, when you get up to the timer. I have attached a, a little cheat sheet at the end of this video on how to go through each of the steps to reset the timer on the Garmin eTrex series. Thank you.